Hi, Phil Bernie here with Bernie Holster. You can view my holsters at BernieHolster.com. Excuse my uh, my messy workbench here. I'm in the process of a move. But I'm going to show you today how to make a Conceal Max Pro holster. It's one of my popular holsters. I'm not going to show you how to make them because then everyone would be making them. But I will show you how to stitch them on a Tipman Boss Stitcher. The first part I do in um, time lapse video because it takes a while. The second half I show you in real time. But this is a very tricky holster for me to sew. I gotta work my way around that wing. But in the end, you know, it's the wrap piece. It goes all around the holster. After I'm done with this, I glue the two sides together and it becomes more holster looking like that. And that's about it. And we'll play the real time video next, all right? One of my uh, popular Conceal Max Pro holsters. This happens to be for a Sig P220. As you can see, I already glued and stitched the wrap piece, which goes all around. And I sanded up the edges to make them a little bit rounded. I'll finish off those edges nice later. And now I have to do the main stitch areas. Forgive my messy workbench, I'm in the process of a move. First thing we want to do is check the bobbin. Okay, there we go. Check the bobbin, plenty of thread. I use number, I believe it's number 277. This stuff is more like rope than thread. Okay, this is one of my hardest holsters to, uh, to stitch. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. Very, kind of difficult. But the machine does make it easier. I'm gonna line up the first stitch, hold her down. Wrap my finger around the thread, come up, place the next stitch, once I get around this light, very valuable too, really puts light where you need it. It's available at the Tipman website. This is pretty much the hardest part of this holster, so I promise it moves a lot quicker than this once I get past all this other stuff. Alright, we're coming to open space here, so you can start locking and rolling. Okay. I don't like to leave the uh, needle buried. I find it makes the hole too big. So I lift it up and I'll just replace it after I spin it. First, now that this is around and I could get to it, I tighten the stitch and I cut off the extra. Top and bottom. <clears throat> I'll put my last stitch there. To finish it off, I put the last stitch into the first stitch. I go over one more to where the second stitch hole would have been. I come back to the first stitch hole as a back stitch or back tack. 
and that didn't take. I'll do it again. That took. And then I go back one more. Pull. Tighten. And snip. And what you have is a decent stitch. Now I'm going to put a double stitch all around. So yeah, why don't we try that now? Same deal as last time. Put your bobbin thread underneath. Put your needle thread underneath. Find a good place to start. In this case, I know where I like to start all the time on these holsters because I've made so many of them. It's just a matter of getting in there and doing it. Down. Finger around. One more. Oh, I'm going to come around this half circle here I have. Because I got the T-nut buried in between two pieces of leather. I can't... Uh, I can't get too close to that T-nut there, otherwise I'll hit the metal that's underneath. Okay, now we got the hardest part out of the way. Now we're going to turn them around, we're going to find our next place to pop a stitch. And then it's pretty much smooth down here. Turn her around, same thing as last time, tighten your stitch, give a snip, give a snip, find your starting point, right about here, and sink a stitch. The only thing about this tip is that after a while it hurts my hands and that's because I played a lot of football when I was younger and pretty much broke all of my fingers at some point so my, my fingers are pretty well shot. I'm going to finish it up on the split the difference. Come in the first stitch hole, go one more stitch hole, come back to the first, and then back one. In this case, I'm going to do back two. Pull, stretch, yank, twist, and snippity do da. Snippity doo da, and voila. We've got a nice double stitch line all the way around. She looks pretty good. A eh, couple of things on the back. But you know what? I haven't wet molded it yet. And when I wet mold it, any of these imperfections will come right out. It'll look real sharp when it's done. Coated nice and everything. Trust me, this baby will look gorgeous by the time I'm done.